In this video, we're going to complete example four. And this time we're going to use Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree for the graph below. Now, Kruskal's algorithm focuses more on edges rather than vertices. Okay, so you'll just first of all look for the shortest edge, which is the two, which connects the C and the D. And then you look for the next shortest edge each time. The next shortest edge is three. So there's about four of them. Doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick this one here just to show you that the shortest edge you're looking for doesn't actually have to connect to the other edge. Okay. Uh, now we need to find the next shortest edge. So we've still got edges of length three. Let's connect this one here. We've still got another three that connects here. And there's another three that we can't connect. Otherwise it makes a cycle. The next shortest edge is a four, but that makes a cycle. So we have to move to the next shortest edge, which is a five. Finally, we have a six, seven, and eight. So the six would be the next shortest edge. And you'll notice that every vertex is now connected. So we have created our minimum spanning tree. Now, if this is correct, it should add up to 22. So let's do that. Six plus five, we've got three threes and a two, and this adds up to 22. So we've done this correctly. Anyway, that concludes example four. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.